Hey kids, this is Miss Segovia. Let me walk you through the comparison of mitosis versus meiosis. So this is from the big worksheet and I like to have a little background so I've also cut a little sheet to go behind it that I'm going to glue to it later and make it look super, super pretty. So let's walk through what we want to see in each side. On the top of the worksheet, and I've cut it off of mine, there was a word bank here that you can use below. But um, if you're struggling with that or you just want to check that you have it right, here's what we need in each one. Mitosis versus meiosis occurs in a, in mitosis it occurs in a body cell. So actually every cell in your body except for certain ones go through mitosis. Meiosis occurs in a gamete, e gamete producing cell. So these are in the cells that are only going to produce sperm or eggs. It would never be and, that would be crazy because then you'd be making both, what? No, all right, so which is A? So originally, your body cells are all diploid and that original gamete producing cell is also diploid. So in case you forgot, diploid means that it has two sets of chromosomes. So they are both 2N when we write the shorthand. Now. In mitosis, it undergoes one cell division, but in meiosis, it undergoes two cell divisions. So if you remember the notes from before, um, mitosis, we're going to have it just split once. In meiosis, it's going to split twice. What's that going to form? In mitosis, it forms two diploid cells. So that's two, two N cells. Over in meiosis, it forms four haploid cells. So that's four cells that just have half the DNA. So four four cells that are N. Now these guys having the same, having half. Number of chromosomes, number of chromosomes as the original cell for both sides. So ultimately we end up with a nice big sentence here. So in mitosis occurs in a body cell which is a diploid that undergoes one cell division forming two diploid cells having the same number of chromosomes as the original cell. In meiosis we have it occurs in a gamete producing cells, sperm or eggs, which is a diploid that undergoes two cell divisions forming four haploid cells having half the number of chromosomes as the original cell. So you can leave it like this and glue it into your notebook. If you want to, you can also make cuts on the dotted lines so you can have it flip over if that helps you with studying. Um, I'll leave that up to you, but that is your little diagram comparison chart for mitosis and meiosis. Thanks.